Hi, this is Melanie Fine from Kevin 10 and today we're going to use our iPhones to make a spectroscope. Follow me and find out how. Today we're going to build a spectroscope with your iPhone. So of course you're going to need an iPhone, a piece of black construction paper, diffraction grating, 1,000 millimeter per square inch, a ruler, scissors, and last but not least, black electrical tape. You want to first cut out a one centimeter by one centimeter square of your diffraction grating. I'm going to approximate this. This doesn't have to be exact. What you want to do is be able to cover the lens of your iPhone. Before I forget, what's the purpose of the iPhone is you need to download the app SpectraSnap, which is going to be able to interpret the light that goes into the iPhone as a spectra. So, you want to cut out your centimeter and you want to hold it up to the light and see the direction of the rainbow. The direction of the rainbow is going to be perpendicular to the lines of the diffraction grating. And you want to line up the lines of the diffraction grating with the horizontal part of the phone. So let's do that. And we are going to tape that down with two small pieces of black electrical tape so that only a tiny slit appears. Because you want to minimize the amount of light coming into it. So here I have a tiny slit in which the light can enter the iPhone. Now I need to make a tube to further block out any ambient light. They have directions how to do this on the SpectraSnap app, but they ask you to, um, to roll the construction paper like this, which I found very difficult. So what I do is I take it from the corner and just roll a tube. We roll up the construction paper from one corner, and once it's all rolled up, we're going to tape it down so it doesn't unfurl. Then what I want to do is I want to snip the ends so that they're horizontal. Actually, one end is going to be horizontal, and the other one is going to be more diagonal. The diagonal end is going to attach to the iPhone so that it's sticking up. You want it sticking up like this. And so I'm going to seal that to the iPhone so that no ambient light is coming in where it's connected to the iPhone. Now the last step is you also want to mimic that slit you had at the base of the iPhone, at the lens, at the edge of your tube. So we're going to place two more pieces of tape at the end of the tube so only a small slit is showing. And now when you hold it up to the light, you can see the source of light and the spectra it produces. So happy filming. Next step, we're going to take this and look at various different types of lights. I say, let's go to Home Depot. So here I am at the fluorescent light section of Home Depot. I'm going to make sure I found the camera app on my iPhone. I also want to make sure that the flash is turned off because it's, not, it's going to overexpose the picture if the flash is on. How about this section for lights? I believe these are standard incandescent white light bulbs. Let me take a picture of these. Look for the spectrum in my phone. Here we have LED lights, so let's take a spectrograph of these. Once you've taken your pictures, open up the SpectraSnap app and select Snap. Once inside Snap, select Camera Roll, and then you can select the picture you've taken, one of the pictures. 
then go into calibrate but you really don't know which way to move this picture so let's get out of calibration and we're going to go to analyze analyze shows us the rainbow rainbow from the violet end to the red end so we know that we want the blue violet end to be on the left and the red end to be on the right so now we'll go back to calibrate and we'll align our picture so that the blue end is on the left and the red end is on the right so we rotated it and now we also want to crop it so that only our image is visible so we're going to bring this a little bit closer into the picture we're going to drag the corners actually I'm going to select the rectangle the horizontal rectangle because that's really what this shape is and I'm going to bring in the corners as close to the picture as I can and now I have my calibrated picture now I can go back to analyze and as you can see on the top is the picture for my camera roll and the bottom is a rainbow and it looks like what I have here is white light because it's a continuous spectrum but as I go through the selections here this is aluminum and you compare the lines of the spectra of the different metals with my light source you can see that alumina, aluminum has spectral lines whereas our source of light is a continuous spectrum look at black light look at calcium notice the bands remember the bands represent the certain energy amounts that are given off when an electron moves from a higher energy level to a lower energy level so we can compare our light source our picture with all these samples down below in the analyze section next we can take another picture from our camera roll let's select a picture from our fluorescent light and again remember in the analyze section we have the the violet on one end on the left end and the red on the right end so let's go back to calibrate and we're going to need to turn it to the left so that the blue is on the left and the red is on the right we're going to crop it, but we're going to select the shape that matches our spectra. So we're going to select, select a rectangle shape and crop it. And now we can compare our light source. And you can see this is no longer continuous white light. We have bands, specific bands at the blue line, the green line, yellow, and red. Leafing through our samples, we see that our fluorescent light looks just like compact fluorescent white. Notice the blue lines, the green lines, the yellow, and the red. It's definitely compact fluorescent white, and it says here in the description that compact fluorescent white is made of mercury gas and various phosphors. So that's what we have here. So we used the SpectraSnap app and the samples that they gave us to see what was in our light, which of course must have been mercury vapors and phosphors. And here, look how much it lines up with mercury. Notice the difference between this fluorescent light and a continuous source of white light, the rainbow. Notice the bands of light. Remember, these are due to electrons relaxing from higher energy states to lower energy states and giving off that energy in the form of visible light. Each band of light has a different frequency, a different wavelength corresponding to the amount of energy given off between those energy levels. So go ahead and use this app, have fun with it, and check out various types of lights. Find neon lights, find fluorescent lights, find white lights, find all different types of colored lights, and see the spectra through the SpectraSnap app. To find out more, visit chemin10.com. This is Melanie Fine, and this is Chemin 10.